It's May 3rd, 1937, when the airship takes off with 36 passengers and 61 crew members. The ship left Germany on May 3rd, intending to arrive at Lakehurst early in the morning, about 6 a.m. on May 6th. Lakehurst, New Jersey is a U.S. naval air station and hub. At Lakehurst, Hindenburg will be serviced for the return to Europe. They were hoping to have a day to turn the ship around, refuel, replenish, and they were planning on leaving that evening with a full load of passengers back to Germany. Settling in for a comfortable and scenic two and a half day trip, the 97 people on board are probably feeling quite safe. In over 25 years of service, no Zeppelin passenger airship has ever had a fatal accident. And yet, right over their heads lurks enormous danger. What lifts Hindenburg into the air is hydrogen gas. Five million cubic feet of it are stored in 16 gas cells, giant bags that fill the ship from end to end. Hydrogen is the lightest element on the periodic table. Because it's lighter than air, it's buoyant. It will go up if surrounded by air. But mixed with air, it's also extremely flammable, a bomb waiting to explode. Everyone knew that hydrogen burned, and it burned furiously. But the Germans had the feeling, this overconfidence, that after 37 years of working with hydrogen, we got this. We know how to deal with hydrogen safely. <laughs> 